Thank you for purchasing a Juki sewing machine. This computer sewing machine provides high stitch quality and has many user-friendly functions. We hope this DVD will be helpful for you to enjoy your sewing. Now, let's show you how to operate this machine. Insert cord connector into machine socket inlet. If you like to use the foot controller, insert the foot controller plug into the jack. Turn on the power switch. Set the power switch to the I mark. Operation of the machine is controlled by the start-stop button. Press the start-stop button to start sewing. Press it again to stop. The color of the start-stop button indicates the status of the machine. Green indicates that the machine is ready to sew or currently sewing. Red indicates that the machine is not ready to start. Orange indicates that the machine is in bobbin winding condition. While pressing the reverse stitch button, the machine sews a reverse or lock stitch. After sewing, Press this button to trim both the needle and bobbin thread, and the needle stops at upper position. While sewing, the speed can be adjusted by sliding the speed controller. Slide the speed controller to the right to sew faster, and to the left to sew slower. When you turn on the power, the LCD screen indicates the center needle position straight stitch. Use the pattern selection buttons below the screen to select a pattern. The screen shows the number of the stitch pattern and the marking of the presser foot to be used. The needle position will change by pressing the needle up-down button while the machine is stopped. Press the needle up-down button to move the needle position up or down. When the button is pressed continuously, you can choose the needle stop position, either up or down. Press the Pattern Selection Mode Switching button to choose the Pattern Selection Mode. Practical Patterns, One Point Patterns, or Letters. When you choose your desired stitch pattern, the machine automatically displays the standard zigzag width and stitch length. To adjust these settings manually, use the zigzag width and stitch length adjustment buttons located below the screen. In case the thread tension is not correctly set, Adjust the tension by using the Thread Tension Adjustment Dial, which is located under the cover on top of the machine. For free motion sewing or attaching buttons, remove the auxiliary bed and move the drop feed knob to the right side to lower the feed dog. Turn the power switch off before replacing the presser foot. Raise the presser foot. Press the presser foot releasing button to remove the presser foot. To attach the new presser foot, align the pin on the presser foot and the groove on the presser foot holder. 
Carefully lower the presser foot holder with the presser foot lever. For free arm sewing, remove the auxiliary bed. As you can see, the accessories are neatly stored in the auxiliary bed. Always turn the power switch off before replacing the needle. Use a regular household sewing machine needle. Turn the hand wheel towards you until the needle comes to the highest position and lower the presser foot. Then, turn the needle set screw and remove the needle. Hold the needle with its flat part facing away from you and insert it fully until it touches the stopper pin. Then securely tighten the needle set screw. Pull the hook cover release button towards you to remove the hook cover. Then take out the bobbin. Place the thread spool to the spool pin and attach the spool cap. The spool cap can be reversed to match the size of the thread spool. Pull some thread from the spool and wind it through the thread guides marked 1 and 2. Then wind it through thread guide number 3. Pull the thread through the hole in the bobbin from the inside out. Place the bobbin on the bobbin winding shaft. Press the bobbin winding regulator towards the bobbin. The start-stop button will turn orange. Hold the end of the thread. Press the start-stop button to wind the bobbin thread. Once the bobbin thread is partially wound, Stop the machine and cut the thread in your hand. Restart the machine and continue winding until you have enough thread. The machine will stop automatically after the winding and the bobbin winding regulator will move back to its original position. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread. Place the bobbin into the bobbin case. Before putting the bobbin in place, make sure that the thread winds counterclockwise. Feed the thread through grooves A and B on the front side, then pull the thread towards the back. Finally, close the hook cover. Bobbin setting is complete now. You can begin sewing by pulling up on the bobbin thread. Always turn the power switch off before threading the needle thread. Raise the presser foot lifting lever. Raise the needle to its highest position by aligning the marking at the hand wheel with the one on the machine body. Hold the end of the thread and pass it through guides 1 through 5, following the arrows. When you come to the guide on the needle bar, pass the thread from the right side. You can now thread the needle. Lower the presser foot, then lower the threading lever until you feel it's heavy. 
Hold the end of the thread and pass it through the guide marked A. Lower the threading lever further and pass the thread through the guides, pulling it towards the back. Release the threading lever to thread the needle. Pull the tail end of the thread through to complete the threading. To pull up the bobbin thread, first lift the presser foot and gently hold the end of the needle thread. Turn the hand wheel towards you to move the needle up and down once. Pull the needle thread gently to bring up the bobbin thread. Pull out both needle and bobbin threads and pass them under the presser foot towards the back of the machine. Use the standard presser foot A for straight stitch. Turn the hand wheel towards you to lower the needle to a starting position. Lower the presser foot and press the start stop button to begin sewing. Once you finish sewing, Press the Start Stop button again to stop the machine, and then press the Thread Trimming button. Raise the presser foot lifting lever and remove the fabric. Once the threads are automatically trimmed, you can continue sewing. To begin sewing the edge of thick fabrics, first lower the needle to a starting position. Press the black button located on the left side of the standard presser foot, then lower the presser foot. Once the presser foot is lowered, remove your finger from the button and begin sewing. To change the sewing direction, stop the machine just before the point where you want to change direction. Use the needle up-down button to continue sewing slowly until you reach the exact point where you want to change direction. When you get to the point you want, lift the presser foot with the needle left in the fabric. Change your sewing direction, then lower the presser foot again and start the machine. When you want to sew a reverse stitch at the end, Press the reverse stitch button at the desired point. The machine will only sew a reverse stitch while the reverse stitch button is being pressed. The machine can automatically sew a lock stitch at the beginning and end sewing and then cut the thread. We'll use a straight stitch as an example. Press the automatic lock stitch and thread trimming button. Press the button again and it will disable the automatic lock stitch feature. Once you have selected automatic lock stitching and thread trimming feature, position your fabric at the point where you want to begin sewing. Then press the start stop button. The machine will sew a few reverse stitches before starting to sew. If you want to stop sewing partway through, press the Start Stop button. When you are finished sewing completely, press the Reverse Stitch button. The machine will sew a few reverse stitches, cut the thread, and then stop automatically. You can change the needle position of straight stitch by using the zigzag width adjusting buttons located below the LCD screen. Press the up arrow to move the needle to the right 
and the down arrow to move the needle to the left. You can also change the length of the stitch by using the stitch length adjusting buttons under the screen. Press the up arrow for a longer stitch and the down arrow for a shorter stitch. There are four types of overcasting stitches available. Select the pattern that suits the fabric you are working with. We'll use the Practical Pattern 6 overcasting stitch as an example. Use Overcasting Presser Foot C for this stitch. Position the edge of the fabric so that it aligns with the guides. Press the Start-Stop button to start the machine. Sew slowly, making sure the edge of the fabric stays in line with the guides. The machine comes with eight patterns that can be used for buttonholes. Select your desired buttonhole. We'll use the standard buttonhole pattern as an example. Use buttonhole presser foot E for this stitch. Pull out the button holder and place the button and then push the holder to set the buttonhole length. The buttonhole size that matches the button is now set. Pass the needle thread down through the hole in the presser foot and pull it out sideways. Insert the fabric and lower the needle to a starting position. Lower the presser foot. Lower the buttonhole lever until it stops. If the lever has been set correctly, the icon on the screen will disappear. Make sure the icon has disappeared and then begin sewing. When the buttonhole stitch is finished, the machine will sew a lock stitch and stop automatically. Once the machine stops, raise the needle and cut the thread. Use the ripper to open the buttonhole. Using a stopper pin as shown will prevent you from cutting the stitches. The buttonhole is now complete. Your machine has a wide variety of stitch patterns. We'll use a scallop stitch as an example. Use manual buttonhole presser foot I for this stitch. For this stitch, use one point pattern number 30. When you sew a scallop stitch, it is important to leave a little extra room at the edge of the fabric. This will prevent the stitch from running off the edge. When you are finished sewing, cut the edge of the fabric, being careful not to cut any of the stitches. Your machine can sew both letters and numbers. Use manual buttonhole presser foot I for this stitch. 
Select the numbers of the letters you want to use. If you press the memory button after you've selected, the machine will save your patterns. To correct an error or change what you entered, press the Clear key to delete one character at a time. Re-enter the characters you want to sew instead. When the button is pressed continuously, all the patterns in the memory can be deleted. Once you've selected your desired pattern, Press the Start-Stop button to start the machine. Finish sewing and cut the thread. Your letters are now complete. We hope that this DVD has given you a better understanding of your new computer sewing machine. If you have any further questions, please refer to your instruction manual. We hope you will enjoy your sewing!